Welcome to A1 Technical Videos. My name is Horace Park. Today we're going to show you how to wire up a Copeland 9 lead compressor. Part wind start, 230 volt. Here we've got one of our finished Copeland compressors here and I've removed the terminal box for demonstration purposes. This is the goodie bag that holds all your jumper bars and nuts and bolts. One of the key things you need to remember when you're wiring up a part wind start 230 volt compressor are that you only want to use two jumper bars. Those go on the two bottom. There are a few key points we're going to make in this demonstration. One of them is I'm using a nut driver. I prefer you use a socket and a wrench to get them good and tight. Make all your connections good and tight. Also, when you're doing a part wind start compressor, of course, the best thing to do is always put two new contactors on your equipment. Give your compressor good, clean power. These are the towers that go on that separate the face, one contactor's face from the others. I'm going to run them down with my fingers. They need to be tightened down in real life. This is the insulator bar that goes here. And we're going to put this insulator bar here along with the terminal lugs. This would be L1, L2. L3. Snug all these up a little bit. Put our towered insulator on here with our other lug. The important thing to remember on a part wind start are the phases. Being able to phase the motor or the contactors with the motor. One contactor pulls in, starts the motor turning in one direction, and the other contactor pulls in and continues the operation. If you get this compressor these two terminals need to be on the same phase. These two terminals need to be on the same phase. And this terminal here needs to be on the same phase. If you get either one of these crossed up, you have half the motor turning clockwise, the other half of the motor turning counterclockwise. Phase one, phase two, phase three, two new contactors, and your compressor is good to go. Thanks for watching.